Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. So who we are, we are a nonprofit that uses radio controlled vehicles to get kids excited about learning math and science. So for today's episode, we're actually going to be diving into our first project build here at Racing to Learn. Now what we are going to be working on is a slash 4x4 based monster truck. So we're going to jump into some of the parts that we're going to be using here. First off from our good friends over at Techno is the big bone center drive shaft and now drives here. So what this is, is this is a four wheel drive vehicle. So we have to transfer power from the front uh, and or rather from the rear to the front uh, through a drive shaft. And the stock one is uh, from Traxxas. It's a hollow aluminum unit. So uh, it has been known to to kind of distort and wobble under load there. So this one, this piece here from Techno is really nice, solid aluminum and uh, definitely a, a welcomed reliability upgrade there. So the second piece here are the Techno M6 drive shafts. So uh, this, this bag has a lot of parts here that give you a lot of extra parts which are nice. These are hub carries actually and if you can see them in the back here are the actual metal drive shafts. You definitely want to upgrade to metal drive shafts on any slash or stampede uh, based 4x4 that you're going to be running brushless power through. The, the stock plastic ones will break on you. I, I had mine break probably after the uh, the 10th or 15th run there. So definitely want to upgrade to some, some metal, some steel drive shafts. And to go along with that, we have the Techno 17 millimeter aluminum hex adapters. Again, for the, the slash and uh, uh, stampede, etc. And what these are, these, these hex adapters actually are what the wheels attach to. All right, so the stock hexes are 12 millimeter and these are 17, so substantially larger, uh, just more surface area to distribute the load across. So these will be less less prone to stripping out the wheels, and also we can fit more aggressive, larger wheels and tires. So 12 millimeter hexes, you're pretty much limited to a, a 2.8 inch uh, wheel tire combination. With these 17 millimeters, we can go larger than that to 3.8. So definitely want these, and the, again, these are machined. So next we have a couple more reliability upgrades. We have some aluminum shock caps. Right? These are from Traxxas, but you can also buy them from other manufacturers such as STRC uh, and others. And uh, you'll notice two are missing. I actually have those on my Stampede 4x4 right now. Uh, I've only had the rear ones blow out on me, so I'm going to use these two for the rears on this truck. And next we have a, an aluminum bearing adapter. So this is a common point of failure on Traxxas 4x4s. You definitely want to get one of these. The stock one is plastic and it's prone to melting uh, under high power. So this piece is machined out of aluminum. They also give you an extra bearing. Uh, we're actually not going to be using that bearing because we're going to be using this. The King Heads Center Diff. Uh, and this is machined out of aluminum. It has a larger bearing. As you can see here, we compare the two sizes there. And this larger bearing does a much better job of, of supporting the loads. Right? It's, it's larger. It, uh, it has more... Uh, load bearing capacity so definitely want to go with one of these uh, versus the stock plastic and smaller bearing setup those have been known to melt and fail um, so you definitely want to go with uh, a setup like the king heads and this is machined out of solid solid aluminum right here in the US next we have some parts from our good friends at Dollar Hobbies. So what Dollar Hobbies is, is they actually buy full vehicles from manufacturers and then part them out. So you're able to get parts in a, in a bag like this for much cheaper than if you bought them individually uh, from the manufacturer. So these are the Telluride 4x4 front and rear bulkheads and differential covers. Uh, and these are the same across the, uh, the, the Traxxas 4x4 uh, 1 10th scale line. So the Telluride, the Stampede, the Slash, they all share these parts together, which is nice. And uh, similarly, we've got the Stampede 4x4 XL5 front and rear suspension arms, again from Dollar Hobbies. So the nice thing about these is that you get these shock guards as well. Um, these are specific to the, the Stampede, and they protect the bottom of your shocks from, from collisions, from knocks and whatnot. So again, uh, these are from Dollar Hobbies. Really nice to get these at uh, a much more affordable price. And similarly, we have two uh, two differentials, front and rear, 
uh, off of a Telluride. So again, these are from Dollar Hobbies. Uh, what the differentials do is actually split the power from the left and right wheels, right? So when you're turning in a circle, you can you can turn and still have power going to uh, the, both of those wheels there. Okay, and the next piece we have here is from Proline, the, the adjustable body mounts, front and rear for the slash 4x4. And these are nice because essentially you can you can mount a lot more bodies, more, a lot more types of bodies because you can adjust the, the height here, as you can see. They also come with these, uh, these screw-on caps here instead of the body pins that are usually used that uh, uh, you know that are more prone to uh, stripping out, uh, you know, breaking through the body. These these thumb screws. I haven't tried them before, so this is my first time trying them. Um, are a lot more durable, apparently. So we'll we'll test that. And this is again a, a slash four x four base build. So we're going with a new chassis from Traxxas here. So this is the not the the low center of gravity version. This is the the normal Traxxas uh, high center of gravity version. So uh, we're going with a monster truck, so we don't really care about that low center of gravity because we're going to be riding up high on, on some large tires there. So last piece here that we're going to take a look at today is the Parma school bus body. Right, so I'm really looking forward to getting this painted and decorated in the racing to learn livery. So this is, was originally made for a Traxxas E-Max or T-Max monster truck. Uh, but uh, I think we're going to try fitting in our slash 4x4. We'll see how that goes. So, again, thank you for joining us at Racing to Learn. Please like uh, and subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook. And just uh, go with us on this journey as we progress through this build. Thank you.